Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your office application is experiencing a no internet connection error when you're attempting to open up Office. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up a web browser, see if you have internet connection. Because obviously, if you're not getting internet connection through your browsers, it's not going to be working through Office either. So it's definitely a consideration. And what I'd recommend first trying to resolve that would be opening up the start menu and then typing in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. We're going to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you're prompted with a user account control screen, you're going to go ahead and select yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you're going to type in ipconfig followed by a space and then forward slash flush DNS, all one word. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. Should come back with successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Next command we're going to type in is NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now you should go ahead and restart your computer at this point. Okay, so hopefully at this point I should have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can try here would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by up here to large icons. And then select programs and features. 
select where it says Microsoft Office. It doesn't matter what version, but we're just going to go select the one that we have here. And then I'm going to select the Change button. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. It's going to ask how would you like to repair your Office programs. Select Quick Repair and then Select Repair. Select Repair again. Okay, so there you go, it says it's done, so I would recommend closing out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.